Hello, YTBC. This is Steve, and you're watching Smoking Cardboard with Mrs. This cardboard. cardboard. <laughs> Decided to make another video with the Mr. and Mrs. edition. This one's got to be, I don't know, I know I number these. I always have to look back to the last one. Maybe this is the eighth one we've done. It's pretty much whenever uh, the missus says, hey, we should do that. Sometimes I'll say, hey, we should do that. You know, it won't happen, but, but I don't think about it too often. It's usually on Sundays when I put makeup on. Oh, yeah, because that's the requirement. It's got to look nice for you guys. Yep. Flying sparks. So, there it happened again. Krista's got a new job. Yep. I'm a laborer now. Yeah, just hardcore. I'm, I paint, work for a friend's painting company, business. Getting into the groove. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Working with dudes who are much better than me at everything. Yeah. Trying to catch up and not feel stupid. But they've also been doing it for a long time. Mm hmm And you... I don't paint every day. No. What are you... What are we having? I am smoking in my Martinsky... Saying blast billiard. Uh, Robert McConnell's Highgate. And I'm drinking a black tea that's over there. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a uh, lakefront hop gods. Yeah, put it way up there. It's a double dry hopped IPA. I just call it a double imperial I i'm curious oh it does say imperial i was gonna say i thought it was an imperial i'm not really sure the difference between imperial and double but it's a seasonal one so i like is it yeah they don't have it all year mm. that's why i like grabbed a couple i like lakefront brewery a lot if you're in, ever in wisconsin yeah milwaukee milwaukee brewery they make good beer in mm -hmm. front. Pretty across the different beers that they make. Yeah, they make good IPAs. We're drinking also the Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is right really now. good. Mm -hmm. um, what's the other one they make that I liked a lot? I have another one by them right now, the Pumpkin Ale. All right, the pumpkin ale is good. I wish I had a cold from them. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't like their brown ale. It's like Sorry. had honey in it or something. It was not for me. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Are you busy? We're recording. <laughs> we can cut it out though. Stop. Just ignore it. <laughs> our daughter is trying to get our attention. And maybe I won't cut this out, because maybe you guys think that was so funny. Later. Yeah. Anyway. Those there, teenagers. Is there anything uh, you Kristen want to argue about something? But I don't know if I feel very passionate about anything. Okay, we're getting into spooky personal. season. So it's October 1st today. Okay. And I love, like, Halloween stuff like I'm not into horror movies really I used to be but not anymore and I know you aren't at all but yes. if there was one like scary movie that is your favorite or you would recommend as like a great scary movie what would you pick I feel like one that I have watched that I really enjoy that is kind of uh centralized as like scary movie is i am legend i 
I've said that a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that one's fun. Uh, it's just kind of interesting. Uh, I'm sure there's other movies that would be kind of like they are scary, but they're not. There are there's just scary parts in them, but they're not a scary movie. And I'm like, oh, I really like that movie. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Independ- Independence Day comes to mind with that. <laughs> with I'm sorry, scenes. I just can't qualify that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not a scary movie. But I'm saying that there's some other movies that I like that have scary parts. Did you watch A Quiet Place? With yeah. This? Did you like that? Not with you guys, but the first one I watched with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was great. Yeah. It was an entertaining, dramatic... It's not spooky. I mean, it's an alien movie. I probably could handle a lot more scary movie <clears throat> than I could when I was younger and made the decision to never watch any of those ever again. And so, as a result, it's never been an issue because I've never had any friend like, oh, I really want to watch these scary stuff. But mm-hmm. Krista, on the other hand... That was your, like, jam half the time. Yeah. I watched way, way, way too many horror movies, and I regret it. I remember going on a date in college, and we went to the movie Hostel, like, about, like... I have heard about European hostels, you know, and it was so gory and so awful that I just kept looking at this guy, like, are you not going to walk out of here? Like... This movie's awful, and you just sat there and enjoyed it, and I was just I hate this. I hate this so much. I feel like I've watched some gory movies, and that's kind of like a different... Like, I think scary or horror is like a form of trauma, you know? Like, you're mm-hmm. experiencing uh, an extreme that uh, can negatively impact your psyche Mm -hmm. and I think uh, uh, violence and that sort of thing can be the same but I'm not remembering any one specific where it's like I don't know I guess there are some get at like more of spooky than a drama there was a movie that I watched in high school called The Others with Nicole Kidman and it was just like I thought it was an excellent ghosty spooky movie and there was nothing like overtly horrifying but it was just like so eerie the whole time and then there was like a big twist at the end and you're like oh I feel like we watch some TV shows that are spooky like what's the one that's super popular on Netflix the the where they have the upside down mm-hmm. stranger stranger things. things that's kind of yeah a scary movie but it's a tv series mm-hmm. uh the walking dead that's kind of a scary movie sure terry's Sounds not good. quite as much mm-hmm. um i don't know i'm trying to think of we watched the the killer ones on HBO like True Detective not True Detective but is that what it was called? The one with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson maybe but each season season was, was different a different detectives. thing yeah mm-hmm. that one was intense like we had to stop watching it because it was like too intense and even like yeah. some shows have been too intense for me that weren't scary like Breaking Bad like, after a couple of seasons of that, I was like, this show's making me depressed. I need to stop watching it. Mm-hmm. That first season of True Detective was excellent, but it was just so dark that it sat so heavy with you. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, man. It was. You can appreciate, like, how good this show is, but it's just too it sad. It was sad, yeah. Yeah, different stuff like that. But. Mm-hmm. Mm. I guess there's probably, like, friendly, family-friendly scary. I don't know if I watched any of those, per se. 
like Frankenstein or or yeah like, like the Adams families I guess right and I think that's just fine neat I don't know like some of it because it's just kind of humorous and usually they're trying to be like we're not bad people <laughs> like as we're portrayed to be or whatever yeah Jekyll and Jekyll and Hyde there's gotta be a bunch of movies about that I, I don't think I've ever seen them Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was in the extraordinary the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen yeah I think we saw that too I liked that movie a lot Hmm. We watched a lot of football. Yeah. Enjoying this time of year because of that as well. Yeah. Feeling the power of NFL Plus last night, just turning on a football game and watching it. <laughs> right. So we watched the condensed version. So I accidentally clicked like the non condensed version, you know, and it's like hours long. And it's like, oh, the condensed version. Because we were just like, oh, trying to kill some time. And we were like, oh, there was some good games last week that we didn't get to watch. So you go and pick it, and we watched the... Bengals. Rams. Rams. Bengals-Rams game. And we watched the condensed one to see, see the whole game in like 40 minutes. No commercials. Like, a lot of shows. Yeah, it was like 36 minutes. It was so great. I feel like I get the tendency where I... Uh, there are for a good reason, like, highs and lows to the show. And if there's, like, pauses, like, slower periods to the show, like, I'm, like, tempted to just start flipping through my phone or giving less attention to the show. Where when you watch a football game and every single, like, every single moment is a play happening, you can't. You can't watch that right. and actually pay attention to what's happening in the game because it's no just time going outs, too no commercials. fast. You're just watching every play. So it's kind of cool. I like it. I still need to want to make a little tray thing where I can come and just put my phone in it when I come in the house and just be like, and there it is. I am intentionally keeping it out of reach so I don't use it. Mm hmm. And at some point I'll probably have to do that, especially because these kids get phones, you're using phones, and it'll be kind of like, all right, you just got to set boundaries, and it's a way to set boundaries is not touching them. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get to it. I didn't get to a lot of projects this year. I'm not sure why that is. I think we've just enjoyed time together relaxing going to breweries yeah I guess we uh spent a lot of times this summer enjoying the summer mm -hmm. trips felt like we were packing up bags every other week yeah we are doing a lot of traveling it's just crazy to think when we first got this house and <clears throat> we just were like, all right, we're going to redo the whole kitchen and we're going to redo all the flooring on the main floor. And I just bought tools to make the kitchen cabinets and justified it as, well, it's a lot cheaper than buying cabinets. Yeah. And then ended up finishing the whole basement and it's just like, I don't know, when do I have time to do that stuff? I can't even, like, <laughs> screw four boards together <laughs> in a night without going, oh, my gosh, do I really want to go over there and do this thing? Yeah. We're but, more highly motivated. Well, I think... So finishing the basement was also motivated by, like, trying to get licensed for foster care or, like, thinking ahead to becoming licensed. We were like, well, we will need more room. Yeah. And so that was kind of a big push to get that. And thing. I just viewed it as hey, if I am going to live in the space, I would much rather spend my money upgrading the space of the house and enjoy it while I live in the house rather than just kind of setting money aside 
for future problems or future use or whatever, you know, like, mm -hmm. or even retirement with different stuff. It was like, I'm just going to invest in, in house. a house or something that doesn't necessarily depreciate. Mm -hmm. And, but it was still, we had like a not even one year old, two year old. Four-year-old when I was doing all that stuff, so we were like really busy. So I don't know. I think Krista spent a lot of time probably being annoyed. I was making a lot of noise in the shop while babies were trying to sleep. I think I remember that. Do you remember that, Steve? You can't. You gotta do this thing before the saw. Do all your sawing before eight. Yeah. I do. <laughs> but yeah. Building the kitchen cabinets was a pretty humbling experience, though. Put all of this work through it, and you find different ways where I kind of, like, cut corners. Not just accepting something that wasn't right, but thinking it was close enough, and then you put all this stuff together, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is creating so many problems. I should have just, like, undid that thing and redid it when it was easy to do it, and now I can't do that. Yeah. And different stuff but I still like my dad's advice where I was you know beating myself up about some of these mistakes and he's like well a professional carpenter doesn't not make mistakes he just knows how to hide them hide his mistakes and make them look good mm -hmm. and so that's kind of the like helped frame it you know like oh carpentry is not about not making mistakes but it's knowing like what mistakes can you make and how can I hide the mistakes that I'm going to make mm -hmm. so hey you we had our Ukrainian friends over for bonfire on Friday yeah had to try to explain huge moth uh, had to explain Halloween <laughs> why do you have Halloween <laughs> it's like I don't know but apparently Krista knew yeah, I knew, like, the sort of history, but it's definitely evolved from that. And now it's like, why do we do things? Because Halloween. Right. Because it's, like, it's, because it's now Halloween. it's a thing. So that'll be fun, because I think our neighborhood gets super busy for Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a fun so atmosphere. Fun. So I, we invited them over to our place for that, so that'll be neat to share that with them. And when we have people over, like, if they're staying with us or visiting us, we like to share delicious food with them and share delicious drinks with them. <laughs> we like to share beer, and sometimes I'll make cocktails for people. And Steve was raving about my Manhattan that I make, and he would, he was like... Well, before that, I... You guys like whiskey, right? This Our friends from Ukraine. And then he was describing what a Manhattan was, like whiskey with some vermouth, with some bitters. And they're like, and all this is alcoholic. He's like, yeah, you had alcohol and then more alcohol and a little more alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he enjoyed it. I think he enjoyed it. He just never had a cocktail like that before. <laughs> He's had... Because he just took, like, a huge swig of it at first and was, like, squishing it around in his mouth. Like, <laughs> and we were both, like, <laughs> I'll just sip it, you know? Like, oh, that was so funny. And it wasn't because he was, like, making faces. It was just, like, I don't know. Maybe that's how, like, over there they drink, like, vodka and he was just treating it like vodka. Mm -hmm. Where, like, to get the whole flavors whatever but it was like man with this stuff just gotta get like a tiny bit in order to like experience some flavors yes and i'm such a sipper like even beer anything i'm drinking i sip it, it takes me hours to finish drinks yeah and then we brought out that pumpkin beer from because they don't really do the whole pumpkin stuff here like we do like everything's pumpkin this pumpkin that mm -hmm. and uh the missus does does not like the pumpkin so that's kind of interesting i was gonna fan of pumpkin anything so that's kind of funny you're like well try this 
share the goods now <laughs> so I've seen this happen more than once that we're kind of have different Asian cultures in our neighborhood in our town and they will make egg rolls and then they'll like you just make apparently a lot of them when you make them and then they'll like share them with other people like when we we're over there then the hunts have said that they've shared egg rolls. Their neighbors have like shared oh, egg rolls with I them. Oh, I didn't know and, that. And um, I know that like uh, Bella Nexus's mom had brought it. Yeah, foster parent that uh, was Asian did the same thing. They brought them. So like I think the sharing of egg rolls is uh, anyway. My me smoking my pipe wasn't scary enough. So let's go. Cool. Mm -hmm. What were you talking about? Sipping drinks. Oh yeah, the drinks. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkins. We still haven't bought any pumpkins. Yeah. I just tell you how expensive pumpkins are. I mean, it makes sense, like, it really does you only get like one good pumpkin out of like X amount of space or whatever. We'll probably buy them from our neighbors. But you're just like doing it to cut into them and then throw them away. I mean, it's not like... Yeah. Their grandpa has a farm and lots of land, and I think they just throw seeds out and hope for the best, and he says, whatever grows, you can sell it. So. Well, they always seem to get stuff each year. Uh-huh. But, yeah. Anyway. Anything else we should talk about? You're going to have a get-together in Virginia? Next March? Yeah. Yes. I mentioned that in my last video. I'm going to try. I think uh, there are some people around there. It seemed like on the weekend... Um, Weekend's going to be tough for me to do for the meetup because uh, we might be traveling over the weekend to get there or leaving uh, but during the weekdays the tobacconist that's in Roanoke or whatever oh, so is only place. open until like 6 mm -hmm. you know they're open from like 10 to 6 or something like this so then it's like oh I know people like work you know have real jobs that's pretty close to Margarita right it was like 45 minutes mm -hmm. but I know Onion um, Johnny Mannion Onion lives right in that town. Mm -hmm. So I might have to reach out to him and maybe we could just meet at his house instead of the tobacconist. But mm -hmm. I have no idea if he's even going to be there or we would be welcome to <laughs> have a get together at his home. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the weather's a... nice. You just never know with March. That's true, too. Might have to be, uh, back and it's just so you can have a smoke inside mm -hmm. i guess worst case scenario you don't have a smoke you just eat supper together or something I know. go to a brewery but i know some people live around there um so it'd be cool to see people but then two weeks i'm going to vegas the east coast is so small i'm sure people would drive from wherever they are so when I leave, what are the what do you get excited about? Because I know you get excited. When yeah, I, leave. I when Steve is gone, I watch the movies that I want to watch at night. So it's like rom coms and maybe something spooky, <laughs> 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 and then I get scared because I'm sleeping by myself. Yep, make microwave popcorn. Steve hates the smell of that. I do. I got. It. Uh, I don't know, my my parents treated Sundays as a day of rest, and for that meant mom wasn't going to cook, <laughs> or at least nothing more complicated than a grilled cheese. But usually supper was eating popcorn, and I grew to, like, really hate popcorn, specifically 
microwave popcorn. The stove type stop stuff I like or whatever is fine, but the microwave stuff, oh my gosh, is so gross. Yeah. So apparently I'm in the minority. No one else smells microwave popcorn and just goes, oh, that's so <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Watch my movies spread out like a starfish in my bed. I'm just I'm supposed to be flying out of Eau Claire, and I'm just really hoping that goes well. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not, like, leaving until almost the flight's supposed to leave at, like, 4.50. So, like, I'm supposed to get to Las Vegas, you know, later. I think it with the time differences, you know, it's like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock or oh. 6 o'clock or something. So then it'll be like trying to get there for that Friday night meal. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that will happen, but maybe. I hope so. That'd be nice. Yeah, I'm just nervous that they're going to say there's not enough people on the flight and we're going to have to bus you to Minneapolis and then... You'll fly out of Minneapolis, and all of a sudden I'm getting to, like, Las Vegas at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning or the next day. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm kind of nervous about. Because that happened to somebody? Yeah, someone at work said that happened to them. Oh. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. Either way, I'm not flying back until Monday, so anybody who wants to hang out on Sunday, because a lot of people are gone by then. Like in the morning already. Mm. I have to figure out something fun to do. We'll see. They're open. The morning to the afternoon, the show's still happening. Or whatever. Yeah. So if I bought something at the pipe show, like at what point would you be kind of frustrated that I bought something? Would, would, like that's nothing we've ever like discussed or, uh, like made plans for last year I didn't buy anything besides food drinks like would you ever care like if I came home with like three pipes <clears throat> and tins of tobacco would it be like what the heck were you doing Steve or would it be like oh. I I think it just goes back to early stages of our marriage where you were way more frugal than I was and concerned about money. Because we didn't so, make very much money. <laughs> so now, I think we've swung the opposite way, but I still just, like, trust you undoubtedly. Like, if you, if you thought that was something you couldn't buy somewhere else, or <laughs> it was really special, yeah, that's it's fine. Yeah, not really something we argue about. But you know, I guess I'm not worried you're going to put us into bad financial, financial position. <laughs> well, I could try. I could buy a lot of pipes. You could sure try to start a fight, yeah. could try. Let's see how many pipes. I'm just kidding. Most all of them are pipes I could smoke that are filtered, so. Mm -hmm. It kind of takes the stress off. Oh, I can look at all these pipes and then... If I like look, this pipe, I just know it's not going to be filtered, so it doesn't matter if I like the look of it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a good fit for me. But it's great seeing everybody. I'm not really there to buy stuff. Yeah. I'm not even sure who's all going. I, I really don't know. So that'll be interesting. Find out. We always make new friends. Yeah, it's just cool. It sounds like such a fun experience to just go to a, a sort of big gathering about something that you're passionate about and that a ton of other people are passionate about, too. And you, so it's just like a really chill sort of hobby. Yeah. It's not like gambling or something really competitive where it's <laughs> stressful. That would... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds cool. Well, we should probably just wrap up, let everyone go and watch a more entertaining video. Sign off. I hope you all have a wonderful October. Sometime this week, I will do a 
drawing for my giveaway, I have been mm. just, uh, I want to say blown away, but maybe that's a little extreme. I, I think it's great how many people have responded. I really appreciate all the responses and they knocked your socks off. <laughs> yeah. Blown away. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to use that for <laughs> those terms. Just do it. But, but yeah, I don't know who's playing football tonight. Probably watch. The Jets? They haven't played yet this week. There's always the Monday night game too. Oh. Uh, We'll watch, we'll watch and just hope that it's not just another horrible game. Yeah, today it was either like blowouts or really close games. Yeah, your Vikings won. Finally! <laughs> that was really stressful. That was a relief. That was really stressful for you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. She was being a little moody until the end, where then she was happy again. I don't know. I take Some it very reason. seriously. I take it like I am <laughs> on staff of this I'm a staff member of this football team, and it's personally on me if they're doing badly. And so I take it really personal. I do the same thing with the Packers. You do. I do better than I used to, though. You do. I feel like I'm getting worse, and you're getting better. <laughs> yeah, I'm better at detaching myself from the results of the game, recognizing that, like, there was nothing I could do to impact the game, and... Getting upset about it is only negatively impacting myself. It does. It ruins your day. Uh, I think I took it more personal because we we're zero and three, so it was like we've got to we've got to perform well. And when we weren't, that was hard to watch. But I do care. I do still get sad when they lose. Yes. But right now, I guess it's easier when you're just got a team where you're like, I don't really expect to win all the games. If anything, I think if we won half the games that that would be a very successful season. Which we're on track to do, two and two. <laughs> Healthy expectations. Yeah. Um, hey, if you win half your games, in. you almost have a pretty good chance of making the playoffs. Yeah. Wild card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heck, you could almost win the division in the North. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right. We'll say bye again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.